So we uh, uh, Okay, 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 okay relax we're here and for the record. I didn't ignore you guys It's just you really can't appreciate how incredible something is until you have something to compare it to Dolly is the standard and I really wanted people to understand Dolly so they can see the differences between it and other software So there are actually two sexy AIs stable diffusion and crayon now crayon is that underdog that I'm secretly rooting for and the reason for that is simply because the quality is rapidly improving But more importantly they have a completely limitless unrestricted Restricted policy, which kind of makes sense because I think the same guys worked on both crayon and stable diffusion I could be wrong on that, but feel free to correct me in the comments I had some hope for mid journey in the beginning But it looks like they're slowly going down the same policy path as dolly and we'll probably be banning more and more content as time goes on So if you want to search things that would almost definitely get you flagged in normal circumstances Stable diffusion and crayon are the way to go crayon used to be known as dolly mini They changed their name after having a debacle with dolly normal and what I like about Crayon is this is by far the most user-friendly AI interface ever created. You don't even need an account. You can come from anywhere in the world to this site, type anything you want in this box, and a minute later it will spit out nine images that you can use commercially as long as you attribute Crayon in the credits. It still struggles a bit with people, but it's literally everything you could ever want in an art generator. No rules, no limits, complete commercial freedom with the simplest user interface in the entire world. You can make beautiful environments, concepts, you can even type porn if you want. Like I said, it's still not really good with people, so you'll probably get some creepy stuff. But honestly, if we could just get Crayon the resources they need to improve their quality, I really think they could be the one. But until Crayon does get its resources, I think our best bet is Stable Diffusion. And that's why for the end of this series, I will be covering Stable Diffusion. Just like Crayon, they do not limit or tell you what you can and cannot create. And the quality of images that you can generate is rapidly improving. Stable Diffusion just about single-handedly keeps Dolly and potentially Google Party in check. But the only real way I see Google Party defeating Stable Diffusion is if they adopt the same open policies. Otherwise, I think they'll inevitably sabotage their own user base the way Dolly seems to be doing right now. I don't really see them being okay with that, so I guess we'll find out. But as it stands, we have hope. Stable Diffusion is pretty awesome. And if you join me next video, we will be comparing it to Dolly. So, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.